अखंडमंडलाकार तत्पदम दर्शि परमानंदम सदगुरु by the grace of the almighty omnipresence enlightened master we are taking the 29 stanza of shrimad bhagavad gita chapter 2 आश्चर्यवत्पश्य कशिदेन आश्चर्य वदत्ती तथे चान्य आश्चर्य वेन मन शुणोति श्रुवान वेदन चशित आश्चर्यवत् पश्य कशित एवं आश्चर्य वदति तथा एव च अन्यः आश्चर्यवत च एन अन्यः शुनोति श्रुवा अभी एन वेद न कशित एट दिस दिज विद ब्रोकन द यूनियन ऑफ द वर्ड्स आल्सो संधि विक्षेद आश्चर्य बत विद एस ए वंडर पश्य इट मींस सी कश्यद एनी पर्सन वेरी फ्यू पर्सन वेरी वेरी फ्यू पर्सन एनम दिस आत्मा आश्चर्यवत बदती पर्सन tell about atma with a wonderful as a wonder vadati it means tells tatha it means and as a as eva it means only mashary with the wonderful shunoti it means the hearing and sutva after the hearing api asu enam this atma veda it means person knows nach ev kashita and some person never knows even he can listen my dear friend the krishna is telling in this stanza kashit it means a very very rare person that is the great person can see this atma inside by very it is very wonderful and the same as very very rare person can describe this atma with the wonderfulness wonderfully and very very rare person can hear this atma gyana with our wonderfulness and my dear arjun many many person cannot know this atma even they are listening all the description or gyan of this atma my dear friend that why the meaning of this is in the 29 my dear it is very very deep teachings about the atma gyana and the krishna is glorifying and telling about us 
the greatness of this atma jnana in this stage my dear friends the krishna the sat chitanan sat anand paramatma the only and only truth only and only consciousness and only and only is supreme god and existence of the millions of galaxies and countable and the billions of the universe is uncountable by his own mercy and by his own will and by his own love and by his own care the carefulness to the seeker sense and lovers of the god he came on the earth and telling to the arjuna arjun it is very rare and rarest to found on this earth a great master or sadguru the sadguru is a miracle of the earth it is millions times more precious miracle as you can found the kohinoor diamond or the stone the paras stone which can change the iron into the gold sadguru is miraculous then these are worldly things so that is a wonder make by the sadguru this atma this atma gana this extreme knowledge of the liberation cannot be described by any type of words or any language but sadguru make this miracle impossible to possible because he is describing this atma gana by the limited and unable your languages and inefficient your words because the atma gana is beyond all the words and all the languages but it is very very miraculous only sadguru can make it this impossible into the possible my dear friend this stanza is telling the firstly this miracle second this stanza is telling that sadguru is among of those persons they can see this atma but this is not seeing by your physical eyes this is the seeing by the divine eyes of consciousness which is comes after the enlightenment please try to understand i am also telling this impossible description or impossible being of the god and existence of atma making possible in your own language my dear friend the sadguru krishna is telling the third thing in this stanza that a very very rare person can hear and can know this atma gyana by the help of the sadguru and the discourses of the sadguru and directives of the sadguru and living with the sadguru but many many unfortunate person even they listen the sadguru they understand the sadguru but they never know this atma and they are completely blind in the spiritual field they are completely blind in the a divine field they are even they are living near the sadguru but they cannot take this supreme benefit of enlightenment by the sadguru i want to give an example to you 
द मणि ऑफ ए नाग मणि ऑफ ए सरपंचाइन वी बिलीव दैट इल ओल्ड सरपंचाइन हैज ए मणि हैज ए शाइनिंग क्रिस्टल ए बिग क्रिस्टल दैट कैन एब्सॉर्ब द सन लाइट इन द डे एंड आफ्टर द डे वेन द नाइट कम ही ब्लो लाइक ए वल्ब लाइक ए लाइटिंग आर्टिकल एंड दैट लाइट दैट मनी नागा द सरपेंट टाइम पुट इन द फॉरेस्ट एंड द इंसेक्ट कम अट्रैक्ट by the money's light and nag eat the serpentine eat that in insect the same thing in the general person's life you have a internal existence of god and that is a money that is a most power of the liberation and transformation and put you away can release you away from all the illusion and mesmerism of the mind but unfortunately your life style like that is snake you using your life in the sensory organ hunger and sensory organ satisfaction and so called duties of your world with all the unconsciousness like a mad person as that serpentine is do not know the quality of the money that can give a very very great internal place to that that serpentine but you do not know your atma money your atma which can give you that complete liber liberation from all illusions so the krishna is telling about those persons they even they living near or living with the sadguru or or listening to the sadguru but they are never understand this is supreme knowledge of liberation which can make you free from all the illusion of the maya my dear friend the fact of this stanza support many many holy books the ramayana says the ramacharita manas says koti biprama koi samyak gyan lakhai koi koi so this stanza is telling to the arjuna that a person who can understand who can stand in this highest peak of awareness that is a not general person that is the greatest person of this world because that the greatest person only can see by his own divine eyes or by his own consciousness this is a very very great aspect of the presence of existence satchidananda paramatma god my dear friend i want to make request never be prejudice god has not two or three or four or hundreds god is only one that is also living inside of you in the form of your atma and that god is living out of side of your body that is the universal god existence so the this stanza is telling that any one great person can know this god or stand in highest consciousness it is a miraculous it is a miraculous and another person which is chosen as a sadguru 
among the many enlightened persons only one or two persons can be choose as a Sadguru that is a appropriate or that is a authorized person has a power of has a quality of has a capacity of description of this greatest stage of the enlightenment my dear friend the Krishna's this verdict is very very keen and very very secret if you listen this verdict very careful your every dilemma and every misunderstanding can be washed within a second this verdict can we abolish your all the maya and all your all mesmerism of the natural illusion of maya and there is a hidden secret in the hidden words and because this world is also a miraculous this world is also a wonderful world and that Atma Tattva is also a miraculous because I want to describe because this Atma Tattva is beyond your physical body your sensory organs your mind your intellect your mood and your ego so it cannot become in the limit and the limitations of your knowing because your all instrument of knowing is fail. They are not capable to see this Atma Tattva. That's why the person who is living in this world, they never believe on this Atma Tattva or the Atma Jnana. They only believe in that things which can come in the limit and limitation of their sensory organs knowing. So that from the millions generation of you, yours that is completely unknown with the Atma Tattva that is not introduced with the Atma Tattva. But I want to say a miracle to you and you can understand very easily. Your physical body have a water and 80% physical body, 80% of physical body is having the water in the form of the protoplasm and the liquidity of your every cell. But in your physical body there is also the fire in the form of your digestive power or the enlightening in the brain activities and you feel the hotness, the fever also and that is the expression of the fire inside of you. But my dear friend you see that fire is not destroyed by the water because if the fire anywhere and you put water on the fire, the fire will stop but your fire is not stopping. And the miraculous thing is next. You have a fire, but you are not burning inside. Your body is not burning. You have the space, but you are not evaporating. You are not being so light that you can fly the sky. You have the earth elements. But you are not caught in one place in the moment of inertia. You are moving. You have mobility. Even you have the earth, you have a weight, you have a body weight. Is it not miracle? It is a miracle. Because even these contradictory things present in your body but these contradictory things do not make any harm to each other. Your body is also a miracle and this miracle only happens when your internal existence, your Atma is touched with you, your body by the consciousness and what 
is the name of this consciousness is the name of this consciousness is the life so my dear friend this is Tendja is telling very secret meaning about your life and lifestyle and blindness and comes to out this blindness and be the aware and be the conscious because this Unintroduction or because this unknowing about the truth, you are compelled to living in the lie, you are compelled to living in the illusion or the fake life, you are not going towards the real consciousness of awareness, you are the prisoners of the nature, you are not going towards the total freedom of awareness. If any person can believe on this fact, and many many persons don't want to know this, even they can take the chance of the knowing, but they miss the chance of the knowing. They don't want to know this fact. Krishna is telling, using a word, Asharya Vata, as a wonder with the wonderfulness. Some person accept that Atma is truth, Atma is only consciousness, Atma is only presence, Atma is only existence, but they do not want to aware in the Atma. The theoretically they are agree, but practically they are disagree. So the Krishna is telling the wonderful Ascharyavata. Person says, Oh, we have no capacity to Atma Jnana. We are a general person. We are not born for Atma Jnana. We are born for eat, drink and be merry. We have a many, many responsibility. You are a free. You do this Atma Jnana. We do not do because we are a responsible person. We have the responsibility of the family, society and other and other. But they do not know. The fool persons, they are misguided by the monkey mind. They are misguided. They are interrupted by the blindness of illusion of Maya because they have capacity but they involve their capacity in the illusion and the pleasures of the Mayas consuppressy by sensory organs according to their hunger. But they do not bunch. So the Krishna is telling here. Some persons, even they are listening, even they have chance, even they have Sadhguru, even, even they have time duration, but they do not know this because they are not curious and because they are not confident, they are coward persons. That's why the one Hundred twenty five billion Indian persons in this society, you cannot find the fifty Atma Jnani or enlightened person, even there is no fifty, even. They are reading the Gita, they are reading the Upanishadha, they are reading the Ramayana, they are reading the holy books, they are doing the holy practice, they are doing the, uh, they are doing the uh, different type of meditations and the worships, uh, but, and they are listening. The discourses on Atma, but they are not getting Atma Jnana, you, we can count the Atma Gyanis in all the world on our fingertips. Even this Atma Gyan is the, is the knowledge of global knowledge, not for congested only for India. But even in Indian persons, they are not interested in Atma Gyana. Then what can do the Master, what can do the Sadhguru? Because 
this atma jnana is wonderful and very hard to believe believable for general person even the seekers they run away in this path after some time because this is not interest like their sensory hungers experiences there is a very good peace there is very good feeling of stability there is very good to feeling of internal pleasure but there is no wild feeling like the physical in physical interaction or the physical relation or the tasty food or the hearing the music or dancing and anything which is the mass summarized by the maya the comparison of your sensory organs of pleasure and comparison of your atma jnana the atma jnana is millions more than your physical and your sensory sensory organ pleasure but the person is completely unintroduced and completely blind he cannot even stay in this good pleasure because this is the micro pleasure and that is the mega pleasure so that's why the person don't believe on the atma jnana indian leaders they are talking about they will make the india as a master of the world giving the enlightenment or the light but they do not know how they will do this the centers of the spirituality of india they want to make the capital of spiritual kingdom this india but they do not know what why what they do what they must do so that what they are doing they are teaching to persons external uh, practices of the divinity the mantra the yoga the meditation other type of meditation and the pilgrimage and the many many type of the musical program and dancing program and cultural program and this is not a spirituality this type you cannot make india the the global master of his spirituality this is not appropriate because this is all comes in the limitations and the limit of the illusion of the maya and the mesmerism of the maya because you are not enlightened how can you enlighten to others so the only enlightened masters only the seekers only the real meditators and they can perform this task very easily because the living in outer side is living in the blindness living in the physical body is the living in the blindness living in the charm of sensory organ is the living in the blindness but even nobody can expose this supreme knowledge because the all blinds if want to describe the truth they cannot describe if a person has eyes he can he can describe all of you knows about the story of blind persons the five blind persons bent to see the elephant one blind person touch his tail and decide that elephant is like a snake a rope another person touch the trunk of ele elephant and he think the elephant like a ball big ball ball it means that this ball and third blind person touch the nose of the elephant the sound of elephant he tell that elephant is a flexible pipe and one elephant one blind person touch the elephant's ear and see oh elephant is like the soup the flat plastic plate which can uh, use in indian place for separate uh, the grain and uh, the uh, pieces of uh, the boot my dear friend 
that is in, in, in integrated vision. And that is the vision incomplete. That is the vision of the blinds. So by the blinds vision, you cannot welfare this world. And you cannot make this India as a master of the spirituality of all globe. It is not necessary that only India be the master of this globe. We can produce so many, many masters in many, many countries because the God is impartial, God is without any prejudiceness. My dear friend, this work is being done by me, not being done by the Indian other spiritual persons. They are teaching the outside exercise of the physical body and the mental body. But I am teaching beyond all my teachings from the physical body, mental body and casual body. I am teaching a miraculous meditation of awareness search by the grace of my master and Satchidananda Paramatma, it is not ego, it is the declaration of the truth like the blowing pancha chanya shell. My dear friend, you are understanding that you have many gurus, that is not to gurus, guru only that which can evoke you in the Atma Jnana, in the supreme stage of knowing your existence in sight. Without Atma Jnana, without this supreme existence knowing, nobody can be Guru. Even he is the master of every book and every religion of this world. He cannot teach you. Because he is himself blind. He is only the knower of the words and the fact that can attract you and that can satisfy you by the worldly solution and solution of your intellect. So my dear friend, if many many Atma Gyani, if gather and among of them only one person have the capacity and ability and power of expression, power of description, power of introduction, the seekers with the Atma Jnana, that is called the Satguru, that is called the enlightened master. If you want to make this nation a Satguru of the world, if Satguru is not a master, Satguru is the servant of the seekers and lovers. Please eradicate this ego also. If a person become the Sadguru, a person become the servant of all the world in the service of the spiritual teachings. So you, if you want to make this nation India a world master in the spirituality, then what you must do? You must awaken and enlighten more and more person in India. When the ratio will increase of enlightened persons in India, the automatically the India will become the master of world in the spiritual field. As the sun has many, many hydrogen bumps and that hydrogen bumps irrit releasing the light and the heat from the sun. So the everyone must become a very, very good awoken and completely aware person. Why we, we, we don't, we want to make all world enlightened. All world, every nation will be master of this world. We will produce many, many masters in every country of this world because everybody wants peace, stability, love and real knowledge of spiritual science. That is not bifurcation that some person become enlightened and some person live in the blindness. No! 
We want to enlighten all the persons, maximum persons, because the enlightened person can enjoy the real life. Others, they are living in the sleep. And mesmerism and hypnotism of maya and sleepy person, how can enjoy the life? Because the sleepy persons live in the coma. So the Krishna is telling this fact that it is very miraculous that if a person become enlightened, a person become the jnani and I want to accept the possibility of enlightenment. In India is more than compared to other country but the mistake is being here that they are attracting in the fake illusionary divine practices they are not coming in the pathway of the Sadhguru. But it is very fortunate thing as I feel in this world the out of India persons and they are more curious about this enlightenment than Indians. Because Indians is already kept and trapped by the fake masters and the masters completely brainwash of that persons. So they are involved in the physically, mentally, emotionally, intellectually activities and actions in the name of the divinity and in the name of the spirituality. If the Paramatma cannot known by your sensory organs, your mind, intellect, mood and ego, then why are you involving in this type of fake activities in the name of the enlightenment, in the name of uh, the divinity? Aboliye. So, my dear friends, my effort is that I am collecting the seekers and lovers of the truth from all over the world. Then I take them in my shelter of love and affection. And I touch them if they are real lover or they are the time pass persons. So what I am doing? I am giving them the skill and method of real meditation. And for this real meditation, now there is no need of any facility. The internet and Skype in other is okay. But the faith cannot be complete without the physical interaction or the meeting each other. So, my second effort is that I am organizing the meditation camp all over the world time to time. My dear friend, maybe in any place of this world there will be built up a very nice University of Enlightenment or the International Meditation Center, the, in that center, the lovers and seekers can stay there and they, I, will, I can give them the dense and very, very intensive knowledge of this uh, is very, very special type of meditation which bring the Wonderful awareness as the Krishna is talking in this stanza. Krishna is talking in this stanza, breaking the inertia of foolishness and telling to all persons if you are supposing the truth that is not truth, that is your supposing, that is your hypothetical projection of your mind but there is one thing is good that you are real lover of the God 
So Krishna is telling to the Arjuna to accepting all the lovers and the seekers of the world and telling as you want to try to invent or try to search inside of you that ultimate truth so you must be do this meditation of awareness as, as you start the meditation of awareness Sakshi, that same time you are separate from general person, you are become a special person, you become the great person. So the first step of this meditation is the step of being a person, make a great person, pull up the person in the consciousness of awareness and everyone which is trying to know the consciousness, awareness, that is not a normal person, that is a great person. So all of my seekers and lovers, my disciples and my well-wishers, my friends, they are all great persons because they will become enlightened, they will become the living, existing, living God on this earth after the knowing the true existing knowledge of existence. So the first step is the great step. And God is admiring of that type of person. They are coming in the step of the Sakshi meditation. And after this continuity of the Sakshi meditation, meditation and the interaction with the Sadguru and the closeness with the Sadguru and the, your own curiosity with the, these three things uh, will be coordinate then that person uh, will see this existing existence uh, that is called Paramatma that is called Atma that is called Satchitananda he is transformed into the God from the Jiva to Shiva so our country says that every person can transform it into Jiva to Shiva. So say the Nar can be become Narayana. And the general talking and general way of expression, person says this person seen the God, but it is only the way of talking. Actual seeing is the otherness inside of God. That is called the most precious and last welfare of the life. That is called being the Kratakatya. There is no need of doing anything. That is the doing is finished and being is stand. So the Atma is called Durgeya. It is the hardly in the knowing. So the Atma Jnana, the Atma Darshan, these are only the words, but reality is that the person is standing, the Atma Jnana, each person is living in the existence, so that is the rare and rarest great person. The Ram Charita Manas says, Koti Brat Madhya Mah Koi, Samyak Jnana Lakhai Koi Koi. The Gita is says, Yogi na naam sahastre shu. The Kavi says ek aadh uparanta because it is a very big miracle, miracle Atma presents everywhere in every particle. He is so he is presents in you but it is a very miraculous thing that millions of persons they are completely unknown in their whole life with this Atma and the nature push them in the journey of the millions birth and death cycle. So the Atma Jnana is the miracle. Atma Jnana is a very very secret of the all magic of the nature. If a person knows the Atma Jnana it is not necessary he can expose or teach the Atma Jnana because 
it is a gonge keri sarkara if a person cannot speak and if he eat the sweet he cannot describe the taste of sweet because he is completely dumb and deaf so the atma gyana cannot be described by the general enlightened person also it can be described by the special person and that is special person called the sadguru so the krishna is telling in this stanza ashcharya vat badati ashcharya vat badati it is very miraculous to describe this atma and that can only possible by the mouth of the sadguru by the great enlightened master i love you very much my dears so the other person other enlightened person they are submerged they are transformed into the god and they are submerged into the god they no need to do anything they are completely aware and completely present and completely sink in the love of the god my dear friend it is very miraculous because the atma word is not only word it can be touch it cannot be touch sorry it cannot be touch it cannot be expose or describe it cannot be demonstrate so that is a great miracle that atma is described by the sadguru enlightened master by the signs and by the signals of your incomplete language as word so your word is very miser your word is uh, inefficient your word is not able to describe the atma but the sadguru has the many many skills sadguru put the life in the word so the only word the word of sadguru is alive and your word is not alive because you are in light not in light if you can catch if you can understand the signals and the signs of the sadguru if you can understand the sadguru's vision and sadguru's teaching that's this is very necessary that you touch with the consciousness of the sadguru you close with the heart with the sadguru and you you completely follow the teaching of the sadguru and you never allow your ego between you and sadguru only that condition it is possible so the bhagwan says the even this atma is uh, beyond the description but if any master sadguru describe this atma that is a very wonderful full description so sadguru says ashcharya vat my dear friend we are all thankful to the sadguru because without sadguru nobody can know this atma is atma this atma gyana or without knowing this atma gyana nobody can free from this illusion my dear friend so the seeker and lover like the arjuna is very very rarest in this world and seekers and lovers like you all of you is also very very rare i am declaring in this discourse that my seekers my lovers my disciples my well wishers my listeners they are very very rare and rarest person in this world because this direction this directives this teachings is very hard to describe and it is very hard to listen also my dear friends see the in front of the word only is very very small the is in front of the word the child of the word 
can listen his mother. He can understand his mother. Nobody understand the language of the word, but he can understand his mother. My disciple told me yesterday, the trees want to say something, but human do not understand. The words want to something say, but human is not understood. The infant want to say something, but human cannot understand. The trees say something, only enlightened master can understand. So I tell all of you in this world, please do not cut the trees, cut the trees is the scent. The trees is the very, very loving creation of existence. Please do not cut the tree. Please do not kill the words. Because the words is the angels. The words want to say something. Normally in this time, words saying, please save us. Please care us. Please secure us. We are going to die very, very fast. And many, many species of birds, they are washed out from this earth. My dear friend, I want to say a very important thing. That as the infant of the word says something and his mother only can understand and he only listen the voice of his mother, he do not listen the other's voice. So, I am your mother. Please listen me, you are my infant. I am telling only those persons, they love me like a mother. I am not telling for the egoistic persons. I am not telling for the blind person, they are living in the intellect of foolishness. I am telling to my lovers, my friends, my seekers, please love me as a mother, then you can understand my language. Because this language in invisible, this language is beyond of your all the apparatus of intellect, mood, ego, or might. This di this directives and this directions and this teachings and this science and this uh, my signals, if you will. Here that you will come in the meditation, you will become the pin drop silent inside. And then what will become? You will get a peaceful internal status. Then what will be happen? That when as you become peaceful, because the God is peaceful, God is silent, then you slowly and gradually will stand in the God and the, when you will do this following by the silence, when you will day to day aware and your divine sight will be become day to day able to see the truth inside and outside. Then you will be free from the death and birth of my then this is the satsanga and this is a great spiritual teaching called in india satsanga so my dear the brahma gyani diksha taking many many persons but brahma gyani's disha it means the direction take very few persons so the person will take the real direction and they will do the meditation of awareness Sachi and they will sure and certainly awaken in this uh, Atma Jnana they, that is the miraculous stage. But many many person here but they will not get Atma Jnana. I am giving an example of you. The Buddha is teaching for all person is listening the teachings but very few person become enlightened the krishna is telling gita to the arjuna and sanjaya spread this gita all over the world but but very few person become enlightened 
my dear friend, the Kavi, the Nanak, the Dadu, the Paltu, the na many, many masters came and go and very few person become enlightened. My dear friend, on the Facebook, we have many persons in the contact, in the friend list. On the YouTube, 48,000 persons listen my discourse, visit on my discourses. And on the Google Plus, the near about 4 lakh person listen my discourses, but unfortunately, even not 50 person is doing the Sakshi meditation in, in India or abroad. That is called a miraculous uh, meaning of this system. That the last part that Vedam na cheva kashina shutva penam. Even you are listening, but you are not knowing this fact. I know that very few person want to get Atmagana. But I know the maximum person want to physical health, good physical health. If you do this Sakshi meditation of awareness, within four or five months, you will get a miraculous result. And that, my dear friend, all the tension, all the worried, all the dilemmas, all the instability, these are all eradicated from your mind. You will become a tensionless person, you will become a worriedless person, you will become a very, very stable mind person. And your, that's what will be happen. The best thing of energy, which is destroying by the thoughts, which is creating the panic in your mind, and that will be stopped and then you will feel the peaceful life and you will be saved from the dangerous diseases which is the comes by the cause of the tensions like the angina, heart attack, blood pressure, organ failure, sleeping disorder, digestive system disorder. So by doing this meditation, if you do not want to enlightenment, please you do this meditation for good physical health. Because by the good physical health, you can save a lot of money which can be wasted in the general hospitals, in the operation, diagnosis, pathology, scanning, testes, operation theater, pre-operation care, post-operation care, and unnecessary pain, unnecessary cutting, unnecessary sorrow, you can avoid avoid this by this meditation. Seventy minutes per day. The seventy minutes per day meditation is the insurance of your physical health and as well your mental health. Because you will do the meditation, the awareness and keenness will come inside of you. You can see every thoughts inside. The fearful thoughts will come, then you can easily understand this is the creation of your mind, intellect, mood and ego because they are all hypothetical fear and you can save yourself, you can detach from your, uh, yourself from this fear. So no phobia will come, the same thing, no mania will come, no schizophrenia will come because the mind is borderless. No depression will come, no madness will come. So you are now safe as well as mentally healthy, as well you are safe and physically healthy. My dear friend, this is the meditation of keen awareness. Then you can see every minute change in your mind. Then when the lust is coming in your mind, you can see the lust and detach from the lust. Lust cannot prescribe you, lust cannot push you in the wrong action or crime against women or the rap and killing and uh, abusing and cutting and giving the sorrow of any woman or women also same, they will not give any sorrow to the men. My dear friend, I want to say one thing, your consciousness is very down, even the dogs and the birds, the dogs and birds never goes in the 
courts for the divorce. They never become the enemy for their husbands and their wives. And you are so full. You are living together as a husband and wife. And after some time, you fight each other and you go to courts and you push your partner into the jail. You will become a re revengeful how full you are. The, the dogs, the animals, they are not re revengeful. The words, they are also not revengeful. But you are revengeful. It is proof that you are a worst conscious person. You have a loveless person. I am giving to the thanks for the Western countries' pupils. They never uh, do like this. They, they, my many many disciples. They are living with ex-boyfriend and ex-girlfriend. They are not doing this revengeful uh, behavior as Indians are doing. My dear friend, I want to say. That is because you are completely unconscious that you are doing like this. So, when you see, can, you can see the lust and you can detach from the lust and lust will go away and love will remain and mercy will remain and mutual understanding will remain. So, the person can easily live without any classes, without any revengefulness, without any enmity. The second is that thing is that when you will aware in this meditation and you are not involving the crime against women, the women are the goddess on this earth. They are the mercy of the God. They are the love of the God. So they will make your family very nice, prosperous, very loving, very blossom, very good quality, very positive. The family environment will change. And when you do this meditation, you can see the anger and you can detach from the anger. You can save yourself from the anger's effect. Then there is no any crime will come by you. No murder, no killing, no cutting, no fighting. So you will not go in the police station's custody, in the jail custody, or you will not trial by the court. Not only the physical health, not only the medical, uh, uh, mental health, or not only the lustful crimes, but you are saved by the criminal activities. You will, the criminal activity will not perform by you and your respect will be saved. You you are remaining the respectable person by this meditation. So the morality will come from inside. And the same thing with the grid, and you will not involve in any type of economic crime, scandals, breaching the confidence, or the any type of conspiracy, the fake money, the wrong money, the drug addiction, the drug transportation, the many, many types of crimes, they are related with the economy, you will not involve in them. My dear friend, what a miraculous meditation is that he is making a man moral from inside, not imposed outside. This meditation will make families very nice like a heaven and the big heaven societies and the biggest heaven, not biggest, bigger heaven nations and biggest heaven this earth because every nation can solve their disputes with the mutual understanding on the negotiation table with the love and affection. So the Prospectives of this meditation is very, very great. That's why I feel that we must spread this meditation all over the world. So we are taking a mission, the world peace by meditation. And our institution of this meditation will built up in every country, in the future, in every city, because this instrument of awareness meditation of Sakshi, the Sakshi meditation of awareness is very essential for mankind. 
my dear friend remember this meditation is a non religious meditation if you are hindu muslim sikh isai parsi yahudi any caste any creed any nationality any black and white you are a transgender even you are not man or woman you are child you are young you are old everyone can do this meditation without any prejudiceness without any pastity without any differentiation because this is the same as the science invention this is the very very necessary as you taking the breath you need the love and you need the peace you need the very very good quality which can give you help to living very nicely on this planet my dear friend please help me please come and join please learn this meditation please do this meditation only try on four or five month you will get miraculous result my dear friend there is a information on 24 july a meditation camp will be held in the delhi sector 12 and in november the meditation camp and a seminar on art of embracing life that will be held in the puerto rico that is a very very great effort of my lovers and the seekers and disciples the meditation camp in puerto rico that will be maybe 18 or 17 november and the it Uh, 22 November, but in between the two days for the uh, seminar of art of embracing life, there is a multi-dimensional effort. Uh, effort. Food awareness, yoga awareness, awareness of the parent uh, with the child education, and the homeless persons, homeless child, how how. we can treat with them and what is our responsibility and many many subject we should be take in this seminar and the 22 uh, november after the 22 november there will be a 6 hour representation in the new jersey and 25 november there will be a meditation camp in new york hall day near the time square all of you are invited in all programs thank you very much love you very much because we are one love we one consciousness and one presence of existence please i want to make a request subscribe my channel on youtube swami sachidan love you